Today we're gonna add a model to a new environment, remove the background, and then color grade them. Hey there, my name is Ali, and in today's tutorial, we want to go for some sort of a spooky look. Okay, I'll start by dragging my first layer. Okay, then I'll drag my second layer to it. Okay, now I need to cut this uh, model out. I'm going to use the pen tool. And just keep like adding clicks all around it. However, when it gets to corners or uh, curves, what you do is you hold click and you pull it until it creates some sort of a curve. Then you hold alt and press click here to cut the other tangent so you can go in a straight line. Okay, now I'm going to speed forward. I'm just going to go all around it. Okay, now since we're done with our selection, if you see what I did to the hair here, I just made it a selection around it, we will fix it now. So once we're done, you go to on top, you will find selection, make it 0.5 pixels, and just add a layer mask. Okay, now the head looks doesn't look nice, so I'm gonna press right click on the layer mask, press select and mask. It will be called refine edge if you have older version in Photoshop. Make sure you're on the brush, and just... Paint the hair back. Okay, didn't really do some uh, like great job, so I'm gonna increase like the radius and turn on smart radius, and I'm gonna press OK. Okay, now I'm gonna just take a brush. It didn't do good because the grass like Photoshop got mixed up, didn't understand the difference between the hair and like the grass behind. So I'm just going to take a brush, make sure the color is black. And I'll do something 50% hardness. And I'll just delete the grass. Which was behind. Okay. <clears throat> now let's place our model. somewhere let's make him actually in the middle i'm gonna grab this till i get it automatically snaps on the middle so i'm gonna place my model just in the middle of the roll okay now what i'm gonna do is we need to start color grading this and we need to make the model more realistic first let's make the model more realistic we need to add like shadow so i'm gonna below him i'm gonna add a layer I'm gonna go with a brush, I'm gonna go with a black brush, something soft, and press a click. Okay, I'll press double click actually, two clicks. Then I'm gonna press Ctrl and T, and I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift, and just make that like this. Then I'm gonna hold Ctrl, and just drag this here, make it smaller, and just something like that. Okay, something like that, and then I'm just gonna lower the opacity a lot. I don't want the shadow to be in front of him, so I'm gonna take the eraser and just erase the shadow from here. I want it to be like only below the leg. Okay, that's the first layer. The second layer will be, or wait, on the first layer, I'm also gonna hold like Alt 
and just copy another one control T flip horizontal and press control and just replace it somewhere here and I'm just gonna reduce the opacity a lot this is the other line okay now another layer I'm gonna do is gonna be like hard brush with black and I'm just gonna paint something like that around his leg something very subtle something like that and I'm gonna lower the opacity okay the third shadow layer we're gonna do is we're gonna take the layer of the warlock himself hold alt I just noticed we have like some grass here so I'm gonna go to my layer mask with a black brush I'm just gonna erase these areas something like that okay okay now we're doing the shadow I'm gonna hold alt and just pull this layer below now we made a copy of it I'm gonna rasterize it then I'm gonna press apply layer mask so just the file like is faster then I'm gonna press ctrl T and then I'm gonna hold ctrl to that point and I'm just gonna pull it all the way down something like that press enter I'm gonna make two copies of this layer I'll show you why later and I'll close one of them this one I want it to be completely black so I'm gonna press ctrl and click on the thumbnail then with black I'm gonna hold alt press backspace now it's black however it still have like some problems it's not perfectly good so I'm gonna use my lasso tool I'll just take that wand and I'm just gonna move it here press ctrl T and just pull it stretch it out okay then I'm gonna do the same lasso tool okay I need to get rid of this first I'm just gonna hold click and pull this one out with the lasso tool I'm gonna select the legs the feet actually then I'm gonna press ctrl and T and I'm just gonna hold ctrl and move it like that however we have a missing black space so I'm gonna use my lasso tool and I'll just draw it and add black okay now we're good this is not like next to his leg because the leg is raised it will be wrong okay this shadow I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur I don't want it to be very hard so I'm just gonna add a little bit of blur to it maybe something like seven pixels or six okay then I'm gonna reduce the opacity okay now remember the other layer we created on this layer I'm just gonna close them both I'm gonna select actually the water now like this area of the water and I'm gonna stand on this layer and add layer mask then I'm gonna press ctrl and click on that selection and stand on this layer and press delete I don't want the shadow to be on the water I just want the reflection okay now we have some sort of a reflection on the water I can close the link and move it around with the move tool to get like more of the legs but it needs to be like the legs need to be hitting the legs so something like that is good and I'm gonna try soft light overlay soft light and hard light I'll go with hard light and lower the opacity okay now we created the water reflection and the staff reflection as well okay now we need to start color grading first I'm gonna, gonna group all these together press ctrl G okay that's like our model with the reflection and the shadows and everything let's call him the mod model okay on the background I'm gonna start a color grading I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer I'm gonna go to the red channel add some red in the highlights I'll oppose it with some shadows in the some cyan in the shadows then I'm gonna go to the blue channel add some blues to the shadows opposing it with yellows in the highlights okay I'm gonna add another curves adjustment layer but this time I'm gonna go extreme with the red and extreme with the yellow okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on the layer mask press ctrl and I it will make it invisible but now if I paint with a white brush anywhere like if you see like that it will make it visible back again 
So I'm gonna use a very soft brush with a low opacity and I just wanna create some sort of like an orange light here something like that maybe I'll reduce the opacity even more make it bigger press one click make it smaller another click smaller another click another click then here I'm just gonna like increase it a lot okay now we have like some sort of an orange color here I'll lower its opacity a little bit I want it to be actually like a little bit bright so I'm gonna add a new layer and Choose an orange color I'm gonna make something like that with it Now I'm gonna change it to screen mode Screen mode is all about lighting objects at all. It will only like increase the light of something So now it added some sort of like light This one is too strong I guess Okay Remember our model layer? I'm gonna add a new layer on top of it Hold alt and press click Okay, now this layer is linked to it. If I paint anywhere, we won't be able to see it unless I paint on the model. Okay, now on the model, I'm just gonna paint some orange. It's okay if you go too strong. Some orange like on the edges due to the light. Maybe some orange on the highlights here. Some here also. And then I'm gonna change that to overlay. Or I'll go with soft light, it's more subtle. Now we added, if you look, I'll zoom in, just some sort of orange to the hair. Okay, now it's like to make it more realistic. Okay, now let's try to color grade everything. We made like the background only, and then we have the model and its separate layer. Now I need to color grade everything all together. So on top of everything, I'm gonna add a gradient map. Gradient map, what this does, it takes a color in the shadows and a color in the highlights. I'm gonna go with this one, but I'll change something about it. I'll stand on this, then click on the color. I'll make it somehow more like cyan and brighter. Then I'm gonna go with the orange. I'll make it even warmer, moving it toward the red a little bit. Okay, now it looks horrible, of course, but if we lower the opacity, and if we change the blending mode to overlay, maybe we'll try soft light also. Soft light is better, more subtle. Okay, now you see what our gradient map did. It added some like color to the photo. Okay, now let's enough like with the color grading. Let's go with the tones grading. I'll go with the curves adjustment layer. I'll take my darkest point, pull it up a little bit. This will fade the photo. Then I'll take my middle point here and I'm gonna gray pull it down. And then I'm gonna take my brightest point which is the highlights and I can either make it like lighter or make it darker. In this case, we said we wanted to go for some like moody look. So I'm gonna go darker because that will make the photo look like more faded. Okay, now these are like our final adjustments. It was like that. We made it this way. Like much more colorful and moody however one last thing I want to do I want to grab like I want to grab like some attention to that area this is where our model I want to make more attention to this area so I'm gonna brighten this up and darken out the rest so I'm gonna add a brightness and contrast layers I'll brighten up everything and add some contrast then I'm gonna press Control and I it will make it invisible then I'm gonna take a brush, a white brush, with low opacity, and whenever I paint now, I'll bring back the contrast and the light. So I'm gonna paint here, and maybe another point here. Okay, now I'm gonna also make a, a brightness and contrast adjustment, and just reduce the brightness a lot, something like that. However, this time I'm gonna do the opposite, I'm gonna leave the mask white as it is, but I'm gonna paint with a black brush somewhere here in the middle. This will remove the darkness I just created from these parts, grabbing the attention to that part. This is also can be called vignette. Now when I'm done with everything, I always like to press Ctrl Alt Shift, then hold, then press E. It will merge everything into a new separate layer. So now we can go to filter, 
كاميرا رو فلتر so we can edit it all together okay now we can look at it uh, I guess we need to increase the contrast maybe a little bit maybe some exposure to brighten it up now let's take a look at the clarity slider this will either make everything like sharper and more clear or softer I guess in this one we need to go a little bit soft so I went with negative 21 let's try playing with the vibrance no that's too colorful it's better when it's like desaturated like this okay then I'll go to the FX module I'll try always the dehaze this will add like some sort of fog or remove it I'll leave it as it is zero I'm just gonna add some vignette and I'm gonna press ok ok now this is like the before the camera row filter this is after the camera row filter before and after the camera row filter ok that's it for today's tutorial I hope you liked it guys thank you for watching